What's going on YouTube? This is Lawrence M. from Lawrence M. Max Photography. This video is about how I purchased a Olympus 300 F4 for $916. Um, that's approximately 66% discount. Um, the story begins, um, I had bought a 50 to 200, 2.8 to 3.5 SWD older four thirds lens and um, adapted that lens to my M1 Mark II using a four-thirds adapter. It was just a generic adapter, no name. It was working fine. I used it for a couple months, and um, I decided to upgrade the firmware after I got comfortable with the lens and, you know, thought maybe I could get a little bit more performance out of it. Um, and uh, during the firmware upgrade, everything was going fine. About halfway through, the... Uh, firmware froze and uh, basically bricked the lens, rendering the lens useless. Um, uh, a couple days after that, contacted Olympus and uh, set up a repair ticket and sent the lens to New Jersey for repair. After about two weeks, Olympus uh, contacted me and uh, said they couldn't fix the lens, said they no longer had parts. For that older style lens and um, they had uh, set up an alternative purchase for me um, to be able to um, move into a different lens and you know so forth so at the, at the beginning of that conversation I kind of thought maybe it was a racket you know <clears throat> just some way to make a sale and um, whether or not they could fix the lens or not um, you know they they weren't going to fix it. So either way, I was going to be without that lens and um, I kind of was over a barrel. So they gave me some options. And uh, initially, I just thought they were just going to give me options, you know, direct me to the website and, you know, things I could have just did on my own. And uh, the first, uh, they offered me the 40 to 150 Pro for less than $700. So at that point, um, I kind of knew the conversation was, was, was something more interesting than just them directing me to the site um, to make a purchase um, to, to stay in the game or stay relevant with the you know current events of them selling the, the company. Um, I told them I'd already had a 4150 Pro and asked, is there any other options? Uh, they were going to give me the 12 to 100 F4 Pro for less than $800. So at that point, um, I really knew we were we we were we were talking some good talk um, for me as a as a customer on the other end. So just out of curiosity, I, I asked him. I said, "How much would a Olympus 300 F4 be?" Um, the rep put me on hold and said, "You know, came back and about they came back and said, what, what camera body are you shooting with?'" I told him, "M1 Mark II." Uh, they put me back on hold, you know, after a couple minutes came back, they said we can give you a 300 millimeter F4 lens for $916. Immediately I said, we can't be talking about the same 300 F4. I thought maybe they were talking about something that I was unaware of or unfamiliar with, maybe in their four thirds line. And uh, so we can't be talking about the same lens. They said, yes, we're talking about the 300 F4. To make sure they weren't making a mistake, I gave the rep a second opportunity to make sure they that this quote what they were giving me was correct. I said, you're aware that on your site, a refurbished uh, 300F4 goes for $2,200. And I said, a new one goes for about $2,800. And you're offering me this lens for $916. And they said, yes, that is correct. If you want it, that's what the price is. Um, needless to say, I've made the purchase. And, uh, you know, about a week later, the, the lens came. Um, I was so thrown by uh, this opportunity um, that I called Olympus after I received the lens a couple of days after, and I just asked him what 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 transpired or going up that went on that made me so fortunate to be able to get this lens at that price. I talked to the rep; it was a, it was a different rep, and I was just trying to figure out um, is there something maybe I did, maybe maybe I had a presence. You know, I'm on Instagram. I did want some action photography, so I figured, you know, maybe they saw my work, you know, and I would, I would tag stuff um, on Instagram. And um, so, like, if I was using my GH5 to take the picture and I had my 
Olympus Lens on. I would tag both of those companies because they helped me make that uh, helped me make that purchase. And uh, so um, Olympus liked a couple of my pictures, you know, that I posted on Instagram, which I thought was pretty cool because I kind of you know you kind of think when you tag somebody, you know, especially like a couple like that, it'll go into you know just go into the abyss. You know, um, Panasonic actually likes some of my uh, photos as well. Um, I'll have some photos here uh, coming up showing you um, the love from that's coming from this 300 f4. Um, I can tell you that um, the cost of this lens um, was out of my price range. And, you know, when I would look for lenses and things of that nature, I would never even look at this lens. I would never have thought in my lifetime. Now, I don't want to say lifetime. I never thought in the immediate time of doing photography that I'd be able to afford the lens. So I, I didn't even look at it. So one of the things I, I asked the uh, the rep is, uh, I said, okay, so since I'm getting such good treatment, I said, is it possible for me to be able to make a, a call in later if I wanted a different type of lens? Because I get this kind of discount on other refurbished lenses, you know, that with that 1200 excuse me, that 12 to 100 uh, offer still be the same if I just wanted to make the purchase. And uh, the rep kind of laughed, said, no, your situation was unique to a repair uh, situation, and that's how you were able to obtain that lens. But, you know, that's that's the extent of it. And um, so I, I don't know if if uh, if it was had to do with the sale of the company. I had, I don't know if it had to do with... They had seen some of my work and they wanted to keep me in the fold. I have no idea. All I know is I was in the right place, right time. And I was able to get this, um, you know, $2,800 lens for $916. So basically, um, the video was just about um, me saying thanks to Olympus, you know, putting me in a position to be able to get a, you know, professional um, piece of kit to you know help me uh, become better produce better products and and definitely it delivered i mean um you know some of the photos you know my my thing is i do uh manual focus bird photography um i only shoot uh, small birds in in motion and um small backyard birds in motion um it's all birds that are untrackable you know you know i can be able to use your autofocus and put the camera up to your eye um, I have a technique that I use, and that's, you know, this is a start to some of those videos um, that will be coming forward. In conclusion, just like to thank Olympus for uh, getting me this lens and, um, you know, not trying to encourage anybody to go out and break their uh, older lenses and try to go through this process. But uh, if you do have a broken one, you might want to reach out to them, see if they can repair it and see if you can go through the steps that I did and maybe, you know, maybe you can be as fortunate as I was to get a lens of your choice at a, at a very uh, discounted price. Peace.